Okay, I thought today I'd do a short video on, on how to do the routine cleaning of an attack DPXL45 wood gasification boiler. I've uh, opened up a few covers here and doors to just save a little time. So uh, first off, we'll look at the upper firebox. And we have some unburned charcoal. We're going to save that. We want to position that over the nozzle after we clean out the fine ash, if there is an excessive buildup of that. Um, there really isn't in here, but one way we could handle excessive ash up here is just to push it down through the nozzle and let it go into the lower chamber where we are going to clean out the ash. And they provide a tool to do that. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull it back along the refractory here. Again, this is a lower gasification chamber. And I usually would have my dustpan here to catch that. And we also get along the sides. Reach up and we'll pull, pull that back. Not much in here. And you can see the lower chamber is uh, very ashy, light colored. Uh, it's a good sign if it would look like the upper chamber, which is shows a bit of creosote, which is normal for the upper chamber on a gasification boiler, because it's not where the main fire is occurring. The main fire, the hot part of the fire is going on down here. Um, shooting down through the nozzle and uh, swirling around the refractory. So, uh, we're gonna sweep up that ash in a dustpan or something. But, and then if we go over to the side, we have this lever. Uh, and once you do that six times, what that's doing is uh, moving up and down the turbulators in the Exchanger tubes. And the next thing we, we do is we need our tool again. And we're going to pull out any ash that's accumulated underneath the turb turbs. And you can kind of see here's the we're moving with the lever, that's what's happening. Kind of get them in the middle position there so they're. And then I just use the tool to reach all the way back. And do this from either side. Not a whole lot there. And that's about it. Um, there is a deeper clean you can do on the exchanger tubes where you actually pull the turbulators out and use a, uh, a brush down through the tubes. And I'll probably cover that in a second video, but basically what that involves is pulling this top cover off. Uh, there's another cover underneath this. Uh, a couple wing nuts and that's off and that you would have to pull the turbulators out to get a flue brush down. Um, again, we'll cover that in the second video. And if you have a Lambda, lambda controlled boiler these are the primary air adjustments that are automatically controlled by the computer. Uh, kind of on a side there. Anyway, that's about it.